Welcome in everybody. Uh, I'm David Columbia with the Frankfurt Plant Board, joined by John, a 15-year veteran of the Frankfurt Plant Board. And we are going to do a couple videos to show you how you can do some self-installations um, at your house for FPB cable telecom products. Uh, sometimes, especially in the, the world today, it's safer for us to, to give you your equipment and you do a self-installation in the house. So we're going to do several little videos to show you how to do those things. All right, so today we're going to look at our Euro, uh, which is a, the Wi-Fi in-home mesh network um, internet source for Wi-Fi that we have from the Frankfurt Plant Board. It's, you can go buy them at Walmart or you can rent them from us. We, we like doing that. It's, it really helps get the Wi-Fi signal across your entire house. Uh, helps go through walls, it blends it all together, makes a big mesh network. It's really great technology. I really recommend them use them myself. Um, so we are, if you, if you missed the video on how to get your, your modem hooked up, go back and watch that first. We're going to skip that step. We're assuming our modem's ready to go, it's connected to the internet, yes. and we're just connecting our year, new Euros. So John, take us away. Okay, uh, what you'll have with your Euro setup is you'll have a main and a power cord. You also have what's called a beacon. It has a plug on the back of it, plugs directly into, into the wall socket. You will, you will take your cord that we talked about from your modem and it will plug into the main and into power. Now, once you do this, you're going to need to take your smart device, whether it be a, a smartphone, a tablet, whatever it is you have that you can go to one of the app stores with, and you will need to download the Eero app. That is E E R O. Uh, you'll see which one it is. It'll you'll pull it up and you'll download it onto your device. Then you will create an account. You'll go in and it it will walk you through steps to set up a Eero account, and you will have to put information in. Uh, to set up the name of the account, uh, what device this is. It can either be an Eero or an Eero Pro. We use the Eero Pro. Uh, just make sure you've got the right one. Enter that information and then go to the next step. Uh, you will notice what the steps will walk you through for the Eero setup. It will walk you through and ask you if you have connected your modem, whether you've hooked it to cable, whether you've hooked it to power, do you have the cord, Ethernet cord in it. Uh, you can just fast through those steps because you know that's already complete. Then it will ask you to set up the account. You will go in, set your account up with the Eero, and it will it will set itself up. Uh, you'll notice when you plug it in, there is a light that flashes on it. Uh, you, I don't know if anybody can make it out with the with the camera where we're at. Uh, that light will flash blue. To show that it is in pairing mode, uh, it's connecting, it's trying to pass information back and forth to make sure it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do with your phone uh, or tablet. Once it connects, it will change colors and you will see that that, that is now set up. It'll walk you through a couple of steps of did you connect this, have you looked at this, uh, is your house square, rectangular, just answer those questions. Uh, best guess, if you're not for sure. Uh, floors, one or two, three. Um, you'll, get this, you'll get this set up. I almost left three out. Mm -hmm. You'll uh, get that information put in, and then it will ask you if you want to add another device. The beacon is what extends this network to help make it a mesh network throughout your home. Uh, you can get multiple beacons if needed. We, we put this out. Uh, if you get it all from us, which is what we require, you get our, our best modem possible, the main Eero, and a beacon. You will uh, go between where the modem and the main Eero are. Uh, I suggest going about two-thirds of the way to, to where you're trying to reach and installing the beacon. Usually uh, a normal house has hallway and a bedroom at the end on each side. If you can put this in the hallway, uh, it works pretty well. That helps extend that network out to those bedrooms. Uh, if you go to a basement possibly, if the Eero is on the main floor, 
you can go to the basement and plug this in and that will help get you for your TV if you've got a man cave, a, a woman cave, whatever it is that you have that you like to sit in and, and watch TV or, or play on the internet. Once you plug this in, it also has a light on top of it. And when it turns, it, it will start out white and then it will turn blue. Blue means it is communicating back and forth. Once it comes up and shows on your device that you're using to set this up, that it has found it, it will ask you to run a test, placement test, and it will tell you, you place that like a champion, mm -hmm. good to go, it's great, or uh, try placing it somewhere else, which means there's too much distance between the beacon and the main. You would move it a little closer to the main. Once this is set up, you will, you will notice that there's a light on the bottom of it. One of the features that they've put into this is there is a night light on the bottom of this device. That's fancy. That's why I say put it, most people put it in a hallway and you can control that night light. Uh, it's just a small perk uh, with your phone or tablet, whichever it is you use to set this up that you have the Eero app on. At that point, uh, you're ready to Wi-Fi. You're ready to game. Mm -hmm. uh, surf the internet, whatever it is you need to do, and you will be, uh, be online. Now I know these use, we're calling a mesh network, so yes. it's, it's a, a mesh Wi-Fi network, so it blends all that together as one Wi-Fi network. The older style Wi-Fi extenders, you would kind of hop from extender to extender yes. in your house, and you would kind of have some lag a lot of times. Yes. This is, you can walk through your house and you have a straight Wi-Fi signal throughout the whole thing. It's connected to the same SSID same password, nothing changes. It just acts like it's on the same thing. Uh, the app is really handy if you're wanting to do speed test. Uh, if you wanted to check, like yeah, I think it, mine does it every day at noon. It does right. a speed test and I can check and see how my internet's doing. Even when I'm not at home, you can check it from anywhere. Um, I really like these. I put these in my house, so I put in wireless cameras. Yes. Um, on the exterior of the house, my, I had the combo unit that we have and it just didn't reach that far. And so I put the euros in, never had a trouble again. It was, it was perfect. So they're, they're a great solution for, for extending your Wi-Fi if you want to have your phone in your pocket while you're mowing the yard yes. uh, and use Wi-Fi and not your data. That's a good, that's a good uh, way to do it too. I, I use the analogy for people that the old systems that people are used to, the older ones of us that are older that, mm -hmm. that remember it, uh, think of an antenna. You have an antenna in the backyard, then the neighbor's got an antenna or there's an antenna down the road. And, you're passing signal on those. Consider this as a mesh network, as a blanket over top the area. It is not an antenna here and here, and you're, you're getting off this antenna. This becomes a blanket network over your home, and you can access it the same in any location. Mm -hmm. Also keep in mind, if you have a larger home, if need be, you can get an additional beacon or two from us if you want to have the main on the main floor of your home, put a beacon on the basement, mm -hmm. one upstairs. Kids can be in their bedroom surfing and having fun, doing their homework, uh, and everybody can get online. You can put one close to, if you have a large deck, mm -hmm. you can put one close to the back door. That way, when you're sitting out there having your coffee and you've got your iPad checking the news, mm -hmm. you'll have good connection. Yep. Those are available. We, we send out in the, in the initial setup just a modem, a main, and a beacon. But we have additional ones you can pick up. Yes. Um, that's a great product. I'm really glad we're putting that out. Um, it has worked quite well for us mm -hmm. so far. It's, uh, it's really worked out well. I know for if you're at home, when you get to the Euro app and you're going through those step-by-step -step setups, they really are step-by-step -step and they go through and they take care of you to get uh, a lot of animated drawings and yes. get get you through that setup of the actual Euro system. Um, it's a great product, and I'm I'm glad that the plant board is putting it out. If you do have any trouble, you can reach us at three five two four three seven two for customer service to get any questions answered that you have about that system, or you can reach us at uh, fpb.cc at our website. Thanks for watching. Thank you.